Hi. Hey, we're here at the Goss Michael Foundation. At Jesse Morgan Barnett's show, yep. which we top five last week. And Jeff Gibbons in the front room of the gallery. This was in our top five from last week, so we're But this it. week is January 29th. Yes. Here we go. Number five this week is the Nelson Rockefeller Picassos. These are tapestries. Um, These are not paintings, but they are based on paintings. They are based on well-known paintings for the most part. They were commissioned by the Rockefellers between the 50s and the 70s, and they were put together or woven in Southern the south of France. France. Uh, in consultation with Picasso, he helped match the colors. He was on board for the whole thing. They're mm. huge. Are they? This is in San Antonio, by the way. Yeah, San Antonio Museum of Art. They're Number four this week is East Eclectic. East Eclectic in Houston. Airbnb space. What it is, is it's a bunch of young Houston artists doing performance art. And the promo pick for this thing is like, I mean, come on. We'll put it up. What's this is we going to feature the Glass Tire Potluck, the Glass Tire you gotta throw Roll some, of the Dice. Yeah, I mean, send us a picture Gamble. of, send us an evocative picture. And we may very well just throw it in there. And an opaque description. And an opaque description, and, and we'll, we don't really know. Yeah. And if we attend it, we might enjoy it. Number three is Melvin Edwards at the Nashville Sculpture Center. Yeah, this is a retrospective. Uh, this is a black artist who's lived in New York for since 1967. Houston native. He was born in Houston, educated on both coasts. These are welded uh, sculptures, steel sculptures that have political and social undertones, overtones. Um, he was in the Pacific Standard Time show because of his ties to the West Coast, uh, opening at the National this weekend. Number two this week is Carl Umlauf. Uh, this is at a museum at Baylor University. He's been in Waco. In Waco. He's been in residence, uh, an artist in residence at Baylor, a professor there for 25 years. Is it safe to say that he is an icon of the Waco art scene? No, he's very, uh, a very well known Texas artist, graduate of the University of Texas at Austin, has been there for a long time making. Um, I think he's most well known for his wall constructions. But he does a lot of kind of biomechanical, geological formations. They're calling these paintings, but they have a, a heavy sculptural element, even though they're hanging on the wall. Um, and this is an opportunity to see a lot of his work from 25 years yeah. of keeping after it. It's number one this week. Atelier, Atelier Bow Wow. Bow -wow. <laughs> Atelier Bow Wow, a Tokyo-based architecture studio. This is... This is coming out of a long tradition of Rice University working with architecture. Okay, I say a long tradition. Twice in the past, they have worked with architecture firms. But this is the first time that they're doing it in conjunction with their own. I think with the architecture school cool. at Rice. I, I think it is. And um, the whole project is exploring the tradition of the shotgun house in Houston and throughout the Deep South, I suppose. Right. It looked like a shotgun shack that uh, where someone held up a mirror to it, it and it was reflected upon it. Doubled, yes. That's our top five this week. Go see some art. Go see some art. No, 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 no,